Okay. I think that's it. Squeaky ass chair I have. Fucking, I gotta move this chair up. I gotta get like a different chair. You know, streaming while sitting in a recliner chair isn't that smart of a move, right? But, um, hey, it's Jack and Daxter. Look at that. I think the audio is fine. You guys should be able to hear the game. Look at that, though. So, cover your ears a little bit. This is actually pretty fucking loud when you click that, right? So, I love Jack and Daxter. The first one is my favorite. This is what I mean. I love this game. Also, I'm going to lower my TV volume because there's no reason for that to be loud. Now, I could have sworn Jack and Daxter. This is also one of those old games where you fucking... Where you gotta press triangle to go back. So I could have sworn that the first game had subtitles, but it doesn't. That's weird. Anyway, new game. Uh, doesn't really matter. Love this game. I come back to it constantly. My life searching for the answers. You guys are gonna hear father. some echoing bit because I really want to check this audio. To find. I really, the really Why did love checking this audio. So, cover your ears for a moment. Planet. How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. Listen, he's only the master of Green Eco. I assume I fixed it, because the game audio was actually louder than I thought it was. Alright, yeah. It seems alright. I mean, the game's on a little bit of the low side, but it's Jack and Baxter. Who doesn't can know this game, man? Maybe I should increase the volume a little bit. Maybe I, maybe I put it too low. Let's do that. Let's do that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, baby. Just a little bit. R.E.S.P.C.T. I don't want to mess with me. R.E.S.P.C.T. That's what it means to me. Respect, baby, respect, baby, respect, baby. Remember that? Of course you don't. You're too young. God, I'm not even that old and I feel old. Shit. <laughs> Listen, as a kid, when I saw this, as a kid, Misty Island scares the shit out of me. I was terrified of this place. But, but fucking that evil girl? Ah, that's a nice piece of chocolate, right? It's beautiful. It's amazing. Stupid precursor junk. It's really hard not to like Jack and Daxter. You know, even if you don't like Jack and Daxter, you can't help but like Jack and Daxter. You can't help but be like, man, that that is a pretty good game. You know, unless you're one of those uh, Call of Duty kids. God, I know. Everyone knows that one Call of Duty kid, right? Where if a game doesn't have a gun in it, fucking, they're like, this game sucks. Right? Oh no, Dexter! Are you okay? He's a little weasel. Now, as a kid, I always liked the, uh, the talking animal friend in, like, whatever cartoon or whatever. They were always more interesting to me than the people. 
just because animals are cool, right? You know, certain animals are cool. So when Daster turns into this little asshole looking motherfucker, I was like, that doesn't seem so bad. But that, <laughs> but I actually feel bad for Daxter now. I'm like, man, that kind of sucks. I feel bad whenever I look at my dogs too. It's like, you guys don't, like I'm gonna sound like a brainless fuck by saying this, but it's like, you guys don't watch TV. You guys don't play video games. You guys don't read books. You guys don't go on the internet or nothing. You guys don't even like, the most, outside activity you get is if someone's gonna go outside with you right other than that other than that most of the time your dog is just eating and sleeping right and using the bathroom so it's like do you i find it weird that like dogs are so happy all the time and it's all like your life must be like super boring like i love sleep don't get me wrong i'll sleep like a motherfucker like, I'm that type of guy who rather sleep on, on their birthday instead of go out. But, like... <laughs> but, like... At some point, sleeping all day every day is gonna get hella boring. Right? I mean, other than that, they do get lots and lots of belly rubs. Also, hi, Kira. When I was a kid playing this game, Kira was super hot. I had a crush on Kira. I'm like, she's like the cool mechanic girl. You don't see that no more. The cool mechanic girl on TV shows got replaced by the cool gamer chick. Right? When's the last time you saw like a cartoon or like a TV show, right? That was like, here's the hot mechanic babe. Right? I mean, last time, last time that was like prominently show was like... Transformers, and it was Megan Fox, and then they killed off the best Transformer ever, they killed off the black one first, Jazz is dead, fucking Michael Bay, you piece of shit, <laughs> he didn't even die like a dignified death, he died like a side note, like it's in the middle of a fight, and he's all like, you want a piece of me Megatron, Megatron's like, no, I want two, and he just rips them in half and throws them to the side, and that's it. You don't see nothing else. They killed Jazz off as fast as they could. The black one died first. Like, come on. Like, even a fucking, even in an alien robot ass thing that makes no sense that they transform into cars that look exactly like like our shit. Even on their own fucking planets. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. I always liked the way the Precursor Orbs looked. To me, they looked more interesting than the Power Cells in this game. By the way, there's my air conditioner, making all that noise. I also hope that as I was playing Dead by Daylight, the game wasn't too loud, because if it was, I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm just gonna cry, man. Like, I'm just gonna cry, and I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete the stream. You'll never see the stream ever again. The stream was actually, um, the stream was actually supposed to be kind of a test, because I don't really stream off my computer that much, right? Mainly because it's a whole hassle. Well, not really. Mainly because I'm lazy, and my PlayStation's already, like, plugged up and shit, right? And I'm like, I can just stream off of that, but people don't like it when you stream off the PlayStation, and I understand. I understand why, you know? Streaming off the PlayStation, or... I'm pretty sure you can stream straight off of Xbox as well, right? They kind of suck. They just really suck. Like, you can't even, like, I don't know why there's a fucking 1080 option for streaming if it can't even fucking handle it. Like, even Xbox, like, even the Xbox One X can't handle it, and PS4 Pro can't handle that shit either. And no... It's not an internet connection thing, right? That's always like the second thing people think about. Like, well, if it's not my console, it's the internet. My internet is fairly good. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm I'm the greatest, you know, internet wizard in the world, right? You know, like those people who, if they're lagging, they'll be like, no, it can't be me. My internet's great. I have 200 megabytes. Like, get gigabit, bitch. Come on. 
Come on, it's the year 2020. It's the year of our devil 2020, right? Because ain't no way Jesus letting this shit slide. <laughs> it's the year of our devil 2020. And if you don't got gigabit internet yet, in an area that you are allowed to get gigabit internet, then there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you? If you go to download a game like Grand Theft Auto and it doesn't say at least, at most, 40 minutes, right? Cause that's a big ass game. Then you're doing something wrong, right? Or you just can't afford it. If you can't afford it, that's understandable, right? Not everyone has money to spend on the internet. What the fuck just happened? Am I dead in a cutscene's playing? What? What? I'm gonna get eaten by a fucking fish shark, aren't I? Yeah, it's over. Goodbye, world. Yeah, we fucked up. Oh, here he comes. Take me, sweet Jesus. This used to scare the shit out of me, actually. Like, that would scare the shit out of me. Mainly because you would hear the heartbeats. Really? They knocked me all the way over here? That sucks. So, anyways, we're playing this game off the uh, PS4. If that wasn't obvious enough, right? And what's weird is, you know, Precursor Legacy is pretty good, right? It runs pretty good. They're like, you can enhance it in 4K and blah, blah, blah. That That's cool, whatever. But I don't know what the fuck happened when they ported this shit over. Because they, they're definitely using the, uh, the game straight out the fucking PS3 collection. But what the hell happened to the optimization for this game? Like in Precursor Legacy, there are very few spots where the frame rate will just shit itself, right? Then you get the Jack 2. Alright, a little bit more spots of frame rate will shit itself. Okay, not the bad. Then you get the Jack 3. There we go, frame rate. You saw that? That was ugly. Then you go to Jack 3. And the frame rate's always fucking dropping. There's one mission in Jack 3 where you have to... Uh, Shittiest mission in the fucking game, by the way. It's one of the longest missions, and it's super shitty, and it sucks. And I don't know why people thought this was great, right? But it's a mission where you have to deliver some cargo. But you're not the one delivering it. Fucking, what's his name? Tor, I think his name is? Core or Tor? One of those motherfuckers? Uh, the guy leading the, uh, well, not the resistance anymore, but the guy leading, uh, Jack's, like, well, Empire City, I think that's what it's called, Empire City. The guy who's living, uh, leading Empire City's force, forces, right, do with all the tattoos. He's delivering, like, a bunch of eco, I think, or, or, like, mines or some shit? I don't fucking know. He has to deliver some shit. There's cargo, we gotta deliver it. So you and Sig hop on a fucking, uh... One of the hovercrafts, and you gotta fucking and Sig's driving, and you go into this first-person mode with shitty ass aiming controls, right? And you gotta fucking just you gotta shoot all the incoming dangers. It's like an on-railer shooter section. Well, the problem with that is that enemies. Oh shit! I might get fall damage here. All right. The problem with that, we also missed some fucking uh, precursor orbs. Let's head back for that. So the problem with that is um. is that the enemies show up pretty fast they pop out of corners that you cannot reach because you're not in control of the camera it's constantly moving right so they're off screening you they're also fucking um just like you can also hit fucking i, I keep forgetting his name core tour whatever the fuck but the guy delivering the cargo you can hit him and he's, con he's like, taking up one-fourth of your screen all the time. And he's moving left and right and zigging and zagging. And fucking enemies also jump on his fucking shit. And you have to shoot them off. I, I call it a shit, but his hovercraft, and you have to shoot them off, right? When you do that, and you miss, and you're not per perfectly aiming your shots... Which is hard to do because you're using the fucking analog stick to move this cursor that's really shitty. And, you know, 
camera's moving all over the place and he's moving all over the place, so you're gonna miss some fucking shots. Then you're hitting him and his health bar's going down. Also, the monsters are fucking him up and his health bar going down. Also, your health bar can get fucked up and you can die. And there are some checkpoints in it. But the checkpoints are so fucking far away from each other that it's ridiculous. And add that fucking mission on top of the fact that the PlayStation 4 version's frame rates on fucking Jack 3 just drops like a motherfucker all the time. Dude, like, that mission is near impossible to beat. And the reason I say near impossible is because you can beat it. They wouldn't have put the game out if you couldn't beat it. But yeah, hey, if you have a PS3, go buy the PS3 version of Jack and Daxter, right? Let's talk to Kira. Hi, Kira. That's the moral of the story. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. I really like the way she delivers uh, that line. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Jack smacks the shit out of him. Amazing. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Now let me stare at this and do absolutely nothing to this Zoomer. <laughs> okay, Zoomer. Oh, no! I pressed the triangle button. I don't know why I pressed the triangle. You know what? I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. I pressed the triangle button to jump. That's not good. Don't do that. Right? So... If you're not constantly rolling around and pressing the X button to do these fucking long jumps, something's wrong with you. I just really like these precursor orbs. They're so shiny. And their egg-like shape is so just... I don't know. I don't know. I just like looking at them. Right? So anyways, one of the first areas you should head to is the uh, precursor force. I think that's what it's called. Punch this motherfucker in the face. Go. But first, let's ha let's herd the jack out. Get them out of the way. They're fucking annoying. Also, this is gonna be a... For the most part, as long as I play this game, it's gonna be a 100% run through. Can you fucking please just get in your pen, motherfucker? God damn it, you just sitting there looking at me? Fucking grazing on some sand grass or some shit? I don't know, you fucking freak. You. Go. Listen, I'd rather not hit you, animal. Get in your pen. Go. Get, get the fuck in there. Alright. You. Go. You saw what I did to your brothers or sisters. I don't know what the hell you are. Listen, you're not gonna do this to me. It's not happening. Get in there. Good job. I didn't have to hit you. You know what's good for you. Come on. Come on, I'm not. Move it. Move it. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. I don't know what was with the uh, PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 era of gaming. With like, especially with like platformers and shit. They're like, here's some fuckers to hurt into a pin. Almost every game fucking did it. From Nintendo to PlayStation to even Xbox when that came out. Hurt these motherfuckers in a pen. And you always had that one fucking that one dumbass animal or whatever the fuck you're putting in a pen, like just refused to go in. And it was always the last one. It was always the last one. They always just went like, fuck you. We're not going in. Take this power cell in return. I love how this guy's a farmer, but he lives on the on a fucking beach. Right? Well, he does farm rice over there, I guess, so it does make sense, but it's so weird. Have your farm on a beach. Who does that? Hey, it looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. I never got that line that Daxter said. 
because the box is more red than it is blue. So it was kind of mis, uh, misleading when he said that, especially when I was a kid. I was like, red boxes? But I just broke a blue one. The fuck he talking about? This guy. This guy right here. This fucking guy. This guy right here. Look at this guy. This fucking guy. All right. Forbidden Forest. These snakes used to terrify me. Well, not terrify me. They just kind of made me unsettled. Because they were just like... Because the perception... Perception. The... Uh, like the... I guess... Death perception is what I'm looking for. Like death percept. Oh fuck! Really? Are you kidding me? Death perception when fighting them, it's like, am I close enough? Am I not? It's kind of weird, right? But now you just gotta kind of feel for it. Also, these animations are pretty good with the spin. Where's the one? No. Maybe it's when you're moving. Maybe it's when you're moving and running. Let me see. There's one where, like, Daxter gets stuck on Jack's face and he has to pull him off. Yeah, like that. I love those animations. They're great. Oh my god, get up there, Jack. What are you doing? Come on, you can make it. Aw, oh, yeah, you can't grab those ledges for some fucking reason. I used to never use this punch move. Because I felt like it took control from me because you go straight in the line, right? And this is, you know, this is more freeing, right? But then later I found out you can just ha ha, go chow, and then pow pow pow, right? So that was always that was always fun. Oops, almost missed that jump. Ba pow. All right, cool. So we're probably gonna play this until we finish, uh, I think it's called Sentinel Beach. I think that's what the beach is called. Death Perception. It's weird. Right? These guys are known as lurkers. No! Alright. Let's get up on that machine and break the mirror to the precursor beam. Lurkers are the bad guys in this game. You're gonna be fighting lurkers like a motherfucker. But for some reason, in the second game, they just... The lurkers... actually have, like... kind of lives? Like, they can talk and everything, and they're, like, super oppressed. And they're, like, put into slavery? And I'm like, wow, that's... Why were they such assholes in the first game? So we're breaking that because this connects the, uh... Blue eco power lines, whatever, to the town. Also, seizure warning, real quick, because you gotta look directly at a fucking flashing beam for this shit. And I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. For fucking, uh, you know, kids playing the game. Kinda wasn't. Uh, forgot to get that blue eco up there. don't know what this machine was for and we were supposed to power up with blue eco here and run to that door forgot to do that shit oh no oh shut up daxter stop telling it motherfucker so tell me what to do daxter who's the one who's a fucking like overgrown rat Yeah. Cool. Get that. Try and get some green eco. Yeah, I know, Dexter. Oh my god, the green eco just disappeared in front of my face. I'm already about to die in this fucking game. What the fuck? need that. Alright, this should be it. Wow! Okay. Huh. Death number one out the way. Daxter, you're a piece of shit. I never understood that. 
It's like, your only chance of becoming human again just died. And you're like, hey, Dad, hey, Jack, uh, since you're dead, can I have your stuff? Like, what? <laughs> well, I don't know, I guess so. I'm dead, I can't answer you. But, like, motherfucker, come on. Show a little restraint. Don't worry about the rest of those orbs up there, we'll get them later. So. Cool. Where's the other one? Here he is. Bow. Cool. Kinda slow in the water. Shouldn't really fight in the water, it's bad. Can't believe I ran straight into this thing. Fuck out the way. And power cell. Nice. Cool. Now the way to actually get down there is to jump over here. Right. Fight this guy. <sighs> Motherfucker. Sometimes, when you're coming out of a, f a hit animation, the game doesn't register that you're pressing the button again. Sometimes. Oops. Alright. Thought I was gonna get hit by that. Since we're here, might as well do this first. Is this the, uh... There we go. Do that, and then we might as well go do that fishing mini game first. <sighs> Which should be down here. Uh, we'll head back up there sooner. Sooner. I meant to say later. Jump down. Soften the blow. Talk to this guy. Alright. So here's a fishing mini game. Basically, he takes forever to tell you this shit. His boat is, uh, that boat is fucked up, but he has a speed boat, and we can get to Misty Island for it to get more power cells, right? So, we gotta capture some fish. Yellow ones are five pounds, green ones are one pound, we have to get 200 pounds of fish and not catch a single poisonous eel. And we also aren't allowed to miss 20 pounds of fish. So that means if you miss fucking, uh, four yellow ones, you're fucked. If you miss 20 green ones, you're fucked. If you missed fucking amalgamation of them you're fucked right so reason I'm explaining this even though he's explaining it is because as a child this was a fucking a fucking roadblock for this game not just for me but for everyone in my family back when everyone used to play games no one could ever get past this part for some reason it was difficult as fuck right until one day, I fucking did it. And I was the hero of the world. And we all celebrated, because this shit was hard. <laughs> yes, we celebrated fucking winning the goddamn fish game. Right, in Jack and Daxter. It was a triumphant moment. Right? Now... Fuck, are you kidding me? Did I really just miss one already? I might fuck this up. Um, now, it's... I was about to say it's not as hard <laughs> as I remember it. But back then, motherfucker. Especially those shits right there. Bitch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fuck this up somehow. Because I almost caught that fucking eel. Boom. And they give you a swarm of fucking eels. Never miss any of the yellow ones. You miss the yellow ones, you might as well give up. Because you're fucked. So. Yeah, okay, I got this. Bam, 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 bam. It's kind of like a rhythm game. Right? Keep your rhythm. Fuck. And you'll get it in no time. There we go, 200. Alright, cool. 
Man, I'll never forget the day I beat this the first time. My heart was racing and everything. And then my reward was, now you get to head to Misty Island. I was like, oh boy, Misty Island. And then I got there and I was scared shitless. I don't know what about Misty Island scared me. Maybe because it was a lot of fog and it reminded me of Silent Hill or some shit. And it was surrounded by monsters and shit, like new types of lurkers I didn't see before. And it also had creepy ass music. <laughs> Fucking... What's your reward for doing this? You get to head to the scary part of the game. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that got me. I didn't know whether to feel happy or fucking defeated. Right? So, where is the other one? It's all the way over there. Shit, we can always head back for it. Let's head to the um, temple. I'm gonna get hit. I always get hit here. I might as well just die, right? But let's head to the temple. We gotta head here. Fuck out the way. Alright. So the temple over here. Oh, I need Blue Eco. I forgot. Alright, Daxter. Leave me alone. It's been a while since I played this game. Okay? can't remember every detail about it. That's a lie. I totally can remember every detail about this fucking game. Love this game. This is my favorite Jack and Daxter game. What the fuck? Activate, motherfucker. Up here. Bam. Alright. Oh, no! Oh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die or some shit. At least could have helped me out a little bit, camera. Jesus. Bam! Alright. How do you not have a concussion yet? It's beyond me. But let's jump up here. Get some green eco. Some blue eco. Oh my god, that was just embarrassing. Like, I just, I jumped with so much confidence, and I just fucked it up. Isn't there supposed to be a lurker here? Maybe it's up there. He's gonna kill me. I feel it. Huh! Alright. Take that, bitch. Bam. Jump here. Just jump up here. Cause fuck platforming sometimes, you know? Bow! Alright. I always like to do this. Right? See how high it can go. The answer is... Not that high. Right? So here... Is where the frame rate likes to drop. And it's that specific spot. I don't know what the hell is it. Cause over here... Frame rate fine, run 30 is great, right? Over here, oh, kill me! Right? It's that fucking spot. I don't get it. There's just very specific spots in this goddamn game where the frame rate just likes to just die. Frame rate's kind of dying here, too. Like, on this corner over here. I don't know what the hell is with it. Like, this game... It's not that greatly optimized for the PS4. So, then why play it on PS4? Well, convenience. And if I turned on my PS3, we definitely would be playing Sly Cooper now. <laughs> and that's the only reason we're not playing Sly Cooper. Is because my PS3 isn't on. <laughs> but tomorrow, if I have time, maybe we'll play some Sly Cooper. I fucking love that game. Love Sly, too. Anyone who says slide 3 is better than slide 2, you just need to... You need to hand in your resignation. And you just need to fucking stop. Right? So that switch over there activated all the blue eco vents in the world. Fuck off. Now... We can leave. Right? We don't need to do anything else here. 
but we're going to. Here is our first boss. Now, because I'm bad at video games, right? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do this without dying, because I have no health. Right? Put your leaf up, motherfucker. There we go. It's not that hard of a boss, right? You do that. Now, what's really recommended is that you just stay here and wait for their little spikes to go down, because you can't hit them with their spikes up. Alright. There you go. Let them come to you. Right? But again, the problem is with that animation that I said earlier, where sometimes... Sometimes you get stuck in your little animation. Also, sometimes this motherfucker just reaches across the room. So I'm surprised that I didn't die there. Scrap that. And also, for 100% completion, they hide some fucking orbs in this motherfucker. So you gotta jump on him a couple of times. Can you jump on him and have them all come out at once? The answer is no. Trust me, I tried. That's how you get the rest of those orbs, and the temple is done with. But we are not done with the rest of this place, so... Uh, let's see. We gotta head over here and make sure we connect those ego beams. Also, it's very creepy, too. Especially, uh, again, as a kid. If you came to this area at night, and you heard this motherfucker laughing, because he just sits there and laughs once you get all the fish. He just sits there for the rest of his days and he laughs. That shit used to be creepy as fuck. <laughs> Very unsettling. Alright. Mix it with the mix it with the laughing and these fucking weird snakes and shit. Alright, so I believe. Yeah, it's over there. Oof. Lucky. Thought I would have landed right on top of it. Alright. Again, seizure warning. I apologize. Fuck this game. Right? Stare right at the flashing white, whitish blue light. No, it won't possibly hurt anyone. I don't think it ever did, right? But still, it's one of those things where, like, you probably shouldn't do that. You know? Also, since you killed the plant demon, these little... his tendrils are fucking dead. Right? So, let's run over here. Hop up here. Ignore this. Punch you in the face. Get this. Because I'm fucking dying. Grab these. Just three more, and my health will be back to full. Oh no! You son of a bitch! God, why? That was not supposed to happen. Alright. Also, oh, the beam's over there. I thought it would have went over there by now. Okay. Hmm. My memory is all hazy about this game. Yeah, I thought, I thought it would have been activated already. My bad. Well, good thing we did fall. Right? Good thing we did. Now we can head over there. There's also another... Ooh. Let's not fall. There's also another uh, precursor orb that we need to go pick up. Which is down there. And I think that's it for the area besides the scout flies. Oh, by the way, there's a little weird glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or intended, but when you roll, at the end of your roll, if you press X, the moment, if you jump the moment uh, Jack lands, all the momentum that he builds up in his long jump goes vertically. So you get that, right? I'm not sure if that was intentional, because I believe you can also do that in later games. Right? No, son of a bitch. 
I didn't know that was the last scout fly. I do like the dances that, that Daxter does, though. Alright. Now we just gotta get that other power cell. Did I not? Ah, fuck it. We're gonna come back here anyways. Alright. So, take a nice hop, jump, and a skip over here. Right. Make sure you grab these. Don't worry for the lurker shark. I think that's what it's called. Right. Let's check our progress with Precursor Jungle. Right. Nope. Wrong. Forgot. Emulation. Gotta press uh, the touch button on the PS4. Right. So that was the last uh, Precursor. Precursor. That was the last power cell we got. All we have to do is connect the beams and talk to the mayor. Uh, for this, we are missing 10 orbs. We are missing 10 orbs. Hmm. I highly... I highly doubt that they're in the temple. I think I've gotten all the orbs in the temple. Alright. Fuck out my way. There's only one other place I can think of, but I don't think there's 10 orbs there. I think there's only like five. But we'll, uh, we'll check, right? Let's run back over here and connect that last ether, uh, tether. Tether. Why do I call it tether? Ether beam, right? Ether. Eco. Why am I calling it ether? connect this last beam all right and then uh, down there where that last uh, beam is located um, there are some precursor orbs there I don't think there's ten right yeah, I thought there was only like five. One, two, four, five, six. So I'm missing four. I'm missing four somewhere. Oh God, I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. I don't know where they're at. And no, they're not near the fishermen. Because nothing's near the fisher guy. Right? They have to be in the temple. They have to be in the temple. That's all I can think of right now. Because they can't be down there. They're either in the temple or they're uh, down here. Not with the fisherman. Because he doesn't have any orbs near him. But over here. Fuck out my way. You're making me come down here for fucking orbs. I think they're in the temple. They have to be. They have to be in the temple, or they're up there, which they're not. Listen, I need to get 100%. I don't need to, but I want to. Right? So let's go do that. I don't think there's a faster way back into the temple. I don't think there's a shortcut. I must have missed something. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I missed something. Alright. 
Let's see. What did I miss in the frame in the fucking frame rate zone? I missed. You know what? I'm pretty sure I missed. Uh, is this where we go? Here. Here we go. I missed that. Now this is the way out. I think I can. You know what? No, this way's faster. You don't have to fight this guy again. He's dead for good. All right. And we're done with the Forbidden Jungle. I thought it was called Precursor Jungle, but it's called Forbidden Jungle. All right. Now off to Sentinel Beach, in which we can do that pretty fast. There's not much to do at Sentinel Beach. So on the beach over here, near the farmer, the smaller beach, um, down here near the beach, you can, uh, how many orbs do we have? Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong. Here we go. Uh, 200 and... So what's... 190? Okay, so we need like 320, right? That's 190 times 2? No, 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 no. What am I thinking? I don't need 190, I need 120. So 120 is 240. 220 times 2 is 200. 200, no, my bad. 100. Bleh, 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 bleh. 120 times 2 is 240. Fuck. Quick math. Alright. So, like I was saying, near the farmer's house, in the little house, you'll see like a little lady. She's all like, oh no, you gotta, you gotta protect the flat flat burg egg, right? And then you're like, what the fuck is a flut flut bird? And she's like, it's a bird at the beach, but it left because the lurker scared it away, and now there's an egg that's unprotected. Fuck out my way, Parasite, you were the worst Pokemon ever. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like these guys' designs. These snake motherfuckers. I like their design. I don't know why. They look cool. But they suck. I don't even know what attack they do. I never let them do their attack. So, over here, there's lurkers and a cannon. They're shooting bombs at you. Bait the bombs over here, so you don't have to do the work later. That's a pretty good shot. That's a good shot. Alright, come here. Now, unfortunately, they can't shoot that box over there. You have to do it manually, but you're gonna have to go up there regardless to pick up a, um... To pick up a fucking... Whatchamacallit? Power saw. Right? Over here, power saw for free. Pelican comes to pick it up, and you gotta go beat its ass. Right? Little Falco motherfucker. Oh, shit. Over here, free ass power cell, guarded by this snake guy. Fuck out my way. And then you get a power cell. I don't know what the point of that was, but it's there. And you can get it. That's how you do it. Right? Got our health back, that's great. Um Pick some precursor orbs. Great. Here's these dog lurkers that never make a return. Just these lurkers that are dogs. And this is the only place in the game you see them. So I don't... Like, the crabs in the fucking... And the snake makes sense, I guess. Right? These dogs don't. Also, the people live here. It's never really explained how all the lurkers fucking got on this. Got so close to the town without anyone even noticing. But they're here. Right? So over here, these are green eco collectors that old Samos the fuck that old Samos the mushroom put out, right? They got clogged up by rocks, busting free. There you go. Now green eco is the eco of life, right? So it's life energy. So you need help, health, come over here and pick it up. But other than that, it's, it really doesn't do shit in the game. There's only one other place you use it. 
Um, sorry, I was looking at something for a moment. It's only one other place in the game where you fucking use it, right? Um, so yeah, Green Eco sucks. And Samos... You're cool, but the eco that you study is just lame. Right? Oh, the eco of life. Right? So, with blue eco in hand, make sure you bring it over here. Grab this. And then you need to bring the egg down. Right? So you beat the shit out of it. And the old lady's waiting for you. You don't gotta talk to her. It's annoying. But this cutscene... I don't know if you have to talk to her. I always do just in case. Because I remember one time in the old game. So basically a fucking... Here we go. We're going to talk to her. Bird's going to come out. Oh, I pressed pause by accident. Touchpad. Bird's going to come out. Later on in the game, you can ride the bird in certain areas to help you out. Uh, in places. I'm pretty sure you have to talk to her to get the bird to spawn in those areas. Because I remember getting to an area in which the bird wasn't there. And the reason I think you have to talk to her is because, like, A, you have to, like, knock the egg down, first of all, just so it can register that you saved the fucking bird. And B, I think you have to talk to her so it registers that the bird hatched from the egg, because the bird isn't coming out the egg until you talk to her. So talk to this bitch. Right? That's the only... And then they disappear, and you got a hatched egg over here. That bird's gonna come back in the future. Uh, he's gonna come back. His name's gonna be Gray Fox, and he's gonna have a cyber sword, and he's gonna start killing motherfuckers. It's gonna be cool. Right? So, what the fuck did they. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so they can launch this shit all the way here, right? But they can't launch that over there. It makes no sense. Where the fuck did you come from? You bitch. Alright, so while we're heading back down here, uh, over here don't worry about the uh, lurker shark. He can't get you over here because this area is cut off from the ocean, so you're pretty safe here. Here's some precursor orbs. Now I would recommend to go and get the blue eco and the blue tube over here, but we're here right now, so might as well go grab it. Right. You can actually... Jack can actually hold his breath fairly long. Um, also, what's weird is that they never really do any diving sections in uh, Jack and Daxter. Which, they have the mechanic there, but there's nothing that you use it for. Besides picking up some orbs. Right? Even in Jack 2 and 3, you don't use the dive mechanic for... And th there's only one area that I can think of in Jack 2? Yes, I think it's Jack 2. In Jack 2, where they tell you how to dive in the game, and it's like super late in the game when you're going through like some sewer systems and you're using like the jet, the jet board and fucking... And like you're just, you know, going to collect some precursor key or some bullshit. I don't know. So, punch this fucking pelican, right? Then it's a race to the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. So, jump over there. Jump across the water. It's faster than swimming. Uh, you don't... You have a good amount of time on this bird, right? See, the bird still isn't close by. So, here you go. And if you fail, then just go hit the bird in the face again. Did they blow that up? What? They never done this before. Wow. Thank you. So, over here, it's a nice little walkway. Right? On the left side of this walkway over here, this is where the lurker shark can get you. Because that's considered the ocean. But the rest isn't. So you can walk over there. Open this fucking box. Out my way. Out my way. Out my way. Out my way. Alright, cool. Over here. Use these eco boosters, I think they're called. Don't know. 
don't care as much. Blue Eco does not have the power to open up these boxes. Alright. So we're going to have to go back for those. Down here. Right. Beat up some markers. Ow. Beat up some markers. Pick up your power cell. I was about to call it a power stone. Pick up your power cell. And then we're going to move on with our lives, right? First, make sure you hop on this cannon. Use it. There is no cursor on this cannon. So you just gotta, just gotta judge, I think it's X, there we go, just gotta judge it, there you go. Come on, motherfucker. There we go. Blow up, alright, cool. Press triangle to get off of it, and then the only way down is to do a rolling jump. They should have really thought of a better way off this fucking thing, because... Again, right below here, is where the Lurker Shark can get you. So, just hurry back to shore. Alright. No, you can't roll in the water. Alright. Do, 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 do. Up here. Let's go collect those orbs. here there's some seagulls and you can chase them right it's pretty fun Daxter yells at them but besides that you would do that because over here at the last one Daxter has such a fucking loud ass mouth that it causes a goddamn avalanche but since Daxter doesn't want to admit it He's going to say that the birds caused it. Wow. They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. Like, what a fucking loser. Now, over here, make sure you check behind these things, because there's a couple of precursor orbs missing. And you can also experience the lovely frame rate drop that just happened. It was great. It was amazing. It felt fucking fantastic. You know, enhanced with the PS4 Pro. That's what it felt. It felt like it was fucking enhanced. Alright. Grab those. And make sure you climb up here and get these scout flies. And I think up here is just a... Um, does this have a... Yeah, power cell. There we go. This is the power cell that was in that cutscene. Punch these up here. Hit them three times? Yeah, there we go. Hit them three times. Right, you don't have to hit them three times. You can hit them twice, but hit them three times. Just for safeness. Safeness. Safety measures. Alright. Grab your orbs. I don't think there's any over there I need to collect. Let me see. No, there's not. But I do, since we're here. And I really don't want to come back down here. Bam. Do need to collect over here. By the way, the seagull's gone permanently. My bad, seagull pelican. It's gone permanently. Collect those. Let's move on. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, no. No. There we go. Redirected myself. Pro strats. 
platforming in this game feels good. There's only like one part of this game where I would say that your jump feels like shit. And it's my least favorite part of this game. <laughs> but it's nothing like game breaking, right? Over here, last scout fly. Bam, should be done with Sentinel Beach. All right. Uh, let's see, Sentinel Beach. Oh, what am I missing? Get the Fallen Power Stone. Oh yeah, forgot to go pick that. Ugh, gotta press triangle to back up. Forgot to go pick that up. Here it is. <laughs> Almost forgot. Good thing I checked. Good fucking thing. Here we go. All right, now Sentinel Beach is over with. With that, we have a good number of we actually have 20 power cells which means we can uh, I believe it's 20 power cells we need which mean we can um head to uh fire canyon I believe that's what it's called fire canyon and fucking ride the zoomer with the heat shield activate the heat shield at least right but, uh, I think that's what we're going to leave off here. Because I did say that we were going to go up to Sentinel Beach. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. Right? It was pretty fun to do. I'll, uh, we'll come back to Jack and Daxter sometime. But I think the next time I stream, which, you know, God knows when that is. Hopefully, same time tomorrow. Maybe a little bit earlier. Um, which is like what? 11 p.m. Eastern Time? Maybe 12 p.m. Eastern Time? 12.30? Something like that. Very late at night. Right? Uh, I want to do some Sly Cooper. Right? If not Sly Cooper, then I want to try some games I haven't played before. I have a game on the PS3 that people don't remember. And it was... Not a launch title, I think, but it was fairly early in the PlayStation 3 cycle. It's called uh, Folklore. And I'm pretty sure that's a... Come on, fucking... Do you wish to overwrite this? Sure, I don't know. Fucking leave me alone. Get out of my face. Um, Pretty sure everyone remembers Folklore to some extent. It was that demo on the fucking PSN store back when demos were abundant. Right? But, uh, yeah right now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time i stream this is definitely going to go up on youtube though well hopefully it'll go up on youtube at least the jack and daxter part if the uh dead by daylight part was good but anyways stream is over thank you for coming and i'll see you guys later